Hey guys. So I just want to read some energy for Venus and retrograde just overall. I'm thinking about after this, I'll be doing for each sign what Venus and retrograde, how it impacts each sign. So I'm just going to do general overall. Uh, what can we expect for this retrograde period for Venus? Ooh. Okay, car is falling out already. Death. Queen of Inspiration, which was my card. Um, Libra card was on the bottom, but we know that the sign of Libra, and we got justice here too. So for me to see Queen of um, inspiration and also which is queen of wands actually but we have queen of inspiration and we have the justice card and we have the death card the eight of materials the five of emotions so certainly venus and retrograde we may be feeling some weary five of emotions is like the energy of the five of cups which is somebody who is feeling some kind of way, feeling emotional, feeling down, maybe thinking about things that didn't work out in the past. And I've certainly been in this energy. It's even been in my dreams. It's really annoying. It's almost torturing type energy as well. It's like, it says processing sadness or grief or loss, getting stuck in a negative pattern or emotions, not seeing the way out, crying over spilled milk, learned helplessness, um, being enamored, becoming enamored of the shadow, a time to find new hope. Stolen life force. So the life being taken out of you, the happiness being taken out because you're crying over spilled milk or you're worrying about people, places, and things that didn't work out in the past. Um, then we have the death card. The death card represents endings. It represents new beginnings. It represents the sign of Scorpio. Uh, my ex is a Scorpio, so... It'd be going hand in hand with that. But it is rebirth, regeneration, metamorphosis, the death of a relationship or idea, endings, letting go, things that are no longer needed, making sure you are not holding on to outgrown dreams and old wishes, new opportunities. So we're going to be processing old feelings. So um, people who didn't work out in the past, maybe we're revisiting this emotion or this information or this, this need or desire so we can get over it so we can process those emotions and welcome the new because it is so when something goes retrograde the planet of love venus is going retrograde so we may be taken aback we may be feeling some kind of way feeling weary feeling sad feeling lost thinking about the things crying over spilled milk um because we're revisiting that energy so that we can get over it because it's time to let go it's time for rebirth regeneration and metamorphosis it's time to end and let go of that idea of that relationship of that desire with that person so that it's time for something new so that we can go and become new uh, with someone else and move forward and regenerate in metamorphosis. You know, allow the metamorphosis to occur so that we can grow and merge with the people that we're supposed to be with versus worrying about things that didn't work out in the past. Letting go of those outgrown dreams and welcoming new opportunities. Um, what? So any materials came out with this as well. So I believe that is representative of, it is Taurus season. So it could just represent the time period of right now. Let me see if this adds anything because um, I don't see any other reason why that would come out. It says whittling destiny. Focusing on sex and satisfaction. So as things are not working out, instead of maybe some of us will also be focused on our work. Can this represent tour season? Yes. But it could also just represent focusing on your work um, when love isn't in your favor. I can resonate with that as well. So with retrograde, the pain of love, when, you know, and going backwards, we could just be like, all right, so instead of focusing on the negative, let's focus on the positive, which is my work. So if my love life isn't working out and my work life is, then you overindulge in your work life because your love life is taking you to a dark place. So I want to pull some more cards. Mm. I don't know why I just shuffled that. What else can we expect for Venus and retrograde? Ten of materials just trying to come out. And it did. Ten of materials. So once 
we re when we are reborn. So the ten of materials are um, is the card on the traditional deck. It is people at the altar. So after we go through what we're going through, and we we come to a period of a new beginning after the burden. Because look at this, and the, and the justice card is still on the bottom, which is a sign of Libra. Libra was may be highly affected by this, but it doesn't have to just be Libra. Um, but anyway, after we go through the burden here with the Ten of Inspiration, after we overcome the hardship, then we have the Fool, which is new beginnings. The new beginnings and new opportunities and leveling up with somebody. The Ten of Materials is something when people level up and the cards just fail. If you look at like the deck just fell to the side and I'm going to show you why it fell to the side like that, because this is what came on the bottom, the lovers, the union of the dualities of masculine and feminine energies, soulmates coming together. So after we overcome this period of hardship, after this period of burden and we accept, we radically accept how our life is and, and overcome the obstacle of the past, then we level up. We come together with someone. Both of these, um, 10, 10 is more life, which is marriage, which is union, which is better times, happiness, fulfillment, taken into the next level. And um, look at those flowers. It's so beautiful. <laughs> kind of looks like my flowers. Anyway, um, we come together. Things come together for us and we, Potentially, some people will be getting married. We got the Death of Justice cards, too. So, ooh, once we get over this, huh? It's good times, but it does look like after that, we have the Seven of Emotions here. The Seven of Emotions is about... So, some people may have multiple options. But hold on. Yep. Four of Cups and the Two of Emotions is right. So, two love opportunities and one has to be let go of. Seven of Emotions. Let's see what this says. Seven of Emotions. Daydreaming about the future. Choices. Manifesting. Raking options. The alignment of values. Fantasies. Having many opportunities and seeing which ones are real. Collapsing a choice into reality. So I feel like once it goes back direct or even sometime during a retrograde, you may have a choice or a lot of us may be prevented with an option between multiple people and we just have to make a decision on who fits better with us and let go of things that do not. I love this reading. I mean, it's going to take... It, we have the Page of Inspiration, the Strength card, the Emperor card, the Ace of Materials. The Page of Inspiration, it may be someone or something that comes out of the blue and just, hey, I, I want to make this work. Or somebody that you may have been not potentially waiting on or something that you've been waiting on. So it's like after the storm is the sun, the sun comes. Yeah, so something exciting may pop up. Somebody, after the storm, is like, all right, I'm ready for him, or I'm ready for her, and they come forth um, inspired. And it could be a Leo or Aries or both. The strength card and the emperor. The emperor, I believe, is the Aries. The strength card is a Leo. Um, but it just, um, it just could be a masculine energy um, represented by the emperor. Um, that is coming strong with the uh, offer of something committed, wanting a committed relationship. So I would expect a lot of people to come out of this retrograde into something better than they had in the past, into something that is more solid, something is more fulfilling, something is more promising. But it was, it's gonna be definitely a choice to make. Um, I'm gonna pull some cards. I'm gonna see. Tell us about these options. Tell us about these options that will be presented from the seven of emotions energy. Seven of Pentacles. Um, with the seven of Pentacles, somebody's option may do I want to continue to be alone? 
or do I want to get into this relationship? Because you could be happy alone. You could be in energy of, hey, I'm good all by myself. Look at me. I'm abundant. I'm building. I'm stacking my coins. The things, my, the stars are aligning for me. I'm blessed. So the option doesn't always have to be two different people. The option can be, should I remain single or do I want to come up to some, come together with someone? Tell us more about these options. Ace of Wands again. We got Eight of Cups, King of Cups, Seven of Swords. So, okay, I knew the Seven of Swords wanted to come out earlier, but I didn't say anything. I just I'm gonna let I just let it come out on its own. So Scorpio Cancer Pisces with the King of Cups energy. Um, the Death card came out too. So two Scorpio energies came out. But anyway, with this King of Cups and the Seven of Swords, it's like somebody may be trying to take away this offer. So, and maybe some deceit going on with the Seven of Swords and the King of Cups. So, you may, somebody may decide to be single because someone else is in your head trying to deceive you and take away this other offer. Because walk, taking this offer requires to walk away from one thing and walk toward the other. Look at this. Eight of Wands, Ace of Wands. So, when this Ace of Wands come through, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or simply just some sort of offer. When it comes through, it may require movement, relocation, and travel. And this movement, relocation, and travel may not sit well with other people. So they may deceive you into not taking the offer. Tell me more about this. The Seven of Swords is like, mm, I ain't feeling that. Uh, you, you don't need to take that. You know, you're good by yourself. You don't need to be with that person. They may, what were you going to say about, what can they say to keep from taking this offer? The page of wands. So they may think that the person is also being deceitful. So they're going to try to deceive, someone may try to deceive you by um, saying that the other person is deceitful. Page of wands. Now, you, you don't need them. Just stack your coins. You're abundant by yourself um, because this other person is deceitful. A scandal. We got Ten of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, Temperance. So, um, they, so, the offer may seem like it's too good to be true. So, with the Ten of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles, they may try to say the magician. Okay. So, we have the Ten of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles, the Temperance, the Magician, and the King of Pentacles. So, it's like... You want stability. You want stability. You want something fulfilling. You want something committed, like marriage. You want something solid. You want something secure. But, and they're offering that. So you may decide, let me wait with the temperance part until the offer, because remember the other offer was an ace. Let me wait. Um, before I make a decision, I'm going to hold off on this decision until this offer is more in alignment with what I want. The Ten of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles. Something solid, secure, committed, profess, provide, protect type energy. Like, no, I'm not taking that ace. I want this king here. I want something that's solid. I want something that is long-lasting like the Ten of Pentacles that's going to level me up. I want marriage. I want commitment. So until that offer comes through, I'm going to be patient. I'm going to hold back. I'm going to wait to choose until I have something that's better. So this is what somebody may be telling you in your ear. Or somebody may be like, no, nah, wait, that's not good enough. Or they're not serious. They, if they were serious, they would be offering you these other things. So you may think of like, all right, you, you might be right. If he really wants to be with me or she really wants to be with me, she's going to offer me something more fulfilling, something more committed versus the ace. I'm worth more than that. So you may decide, boom, I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not messing with them until they can offer me something better. What else can you tell us about this? For some reason, I'm led to this one. Where is it? Interpretation to this. Oh, there we go. What else can you tell us about this? How will it end? How will Venus, when it, what will life look like when Venus goes direct? As it pertains to relationships.
the magician and the nine of swords page of swords so by the time venus goes direct that's when it's gonna this magician energy is gonna be um in the air somebody it's gonna be time for someone to make a choice there is gonna there's some sort of message and it's not gonna be easy one so it's gonna be time to make a decision we have the wheel of fortune so it's gonna be a time or it's gonna come back around to make a decision oh my goodness this death card again so the thing about it is this scorpio or this death energy whoever this is is gonna give it's gonna make it hard the death card the five of swords is gonna make it hard for this person it is it's a tower here it's definitely gonna it's definitely tower type energy because of this communication or because of the need um, for moving, relocation, and travel. This is, I'm telling you, if anybody has a Scorpio in their life, they're not gonna make it easy for you. By the time everything goes direct, it's gonna be the shit didn't hit the fan, you gotta make a decision. This offer has came through. You have competing priorities, options, and just not knowing what to do. What would it be the decision? Who's gonna, We have the strength, we have the temperance, and we have the ten of swords, and we have the king of swords. Hmm. So the decision may be to be patient, to show restraint. So by the end of the retrograde, when it's time to choose, some anxiety may get in the way. Someone may not make a decision because, again, there is people in your ear. There, whoever this is, all of us, whatever. There is going to be someone in your ear that keeps you hope, that holds you back from making a necessary decision to make you happy. And you may decide to wait. You may decide to be patient. You may decide to be strong and show restraint. But something else ends here. But we have the King of Swords on the bottom and we have the devil right under it. The King of Swords is like someone has made a decision. But what is this Ten of Swords? Why is this Ten of Swords here? <coughs> After some time, you may decide to end one of those connections. What is the Ten of Swords? Who's, what's ending? The Ten of Swords, one of those connections may end. Or you may say no, the Tower. As things end, it's going to be hard. Ooh, it's going to be Tower. We have the Queen of Cups with it. And the Queen of Pentacles. It's almost like the table's hurt. Right? It's like... The end. Now we have the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups. What is this? Tower, the Queen of Cups and the Ten of Swords. Ten of Cups on the bottom, Family Completion, the Judgment Card, Marriage, Three of Cups, Celebration. So again, the whole, it's leading us towards marriage. It's leading us towards commitment. We're leading towards family completion and celebration. So, the events that are unfolding is pushing us. Venus and retrograde have been going forward, going back direct, which happens what they say like every two years. It's leading us towards better times and family completion. So with the tower, the 10 of swords, the tower and the queen of cups, oh, it's gonna be highly emotional period. Things, emotions flaring. Intense emotions um, be, it's because of the decision to end something. It's like you're showing restraint against someone else. Maybe a Leo. But you could just be showing restraint, Leo, uh, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius energy is in this reading. You're holding back, you're showing restraint. The temperance card came out twice. You're being patient as things manifest, but the world here, the lovers, ultimately the choice is to end one and come together with somebody else. I said that. We have the lovers and we have the world. Expansion. Two people coming together, things coming full circle between the lovers. Page of rods, page of wands, page of rods. Same, like a lot of these energies is repeating itself. And the four of pentacles. So choosing to keep this offer. So whoever come through with this page of rods energy after blue, hey, I like you. I'm inspired. Whoever has this energy here, when they come through with the energy, in the end, you decide to hold on to that. 
you decide to hold on to this person. You decide to keep this person in, and that person completes your family. This is your one. This is the lovers. It's like dualities, masculine, feminine energies, twin flame energies are coming together um, during this period of Venus and retrograde. And, and, and bringing, it's like the retrograde is clearing the energies from the past so that the people of the future can come together. Um, so, I'm, I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to let it manifest um, in you guys' life. But if you resonate with this reading, like, subscribe, comment. Tell me how you feel. If you want a personal reading, you can contact me. I will put the information for you to book a personal reading um, as well. Thanks for liking, subscribing, commenting, and watching. Peace.